Welcome to the Feature of the Week presented by Gamers R Us. This is Alex and this week we're going to be talking about the Game Dev Tycoon. Game Dev Tycoon is developed by Greenheart Games who was in the news uh, not too long ago, maybe about a year, when they released a version of this game uh, to trick pirates to make a point about piracy. Game Dev Tycoon is a business simulator, strictly speaking, with some RPG elements considering that you have the progression of your own main character, your own CEO, as well as uh, the people who are working for your company, well, the people that will eventually work for your company. You start as a lowly developer with just yourself in your own bedroom, cranking out code for games, creating a name for yourself, creating a niche, and f you know, forming an audience. Eventually you rise up the ranks. You start to have a break, maybe sell some copies, you make a million dollars and you move up to mid-level gaming. Basically you get to hire other people, you get to uh, do medium-sized games, you get your first publishing deals. As you grow and progress, so does the technology. You start out with simple games for the Commodore 64, PC, and soon uh, their equivalent of the NES and the Game, uh, game Gear, things like that. But when you start to move up in the world and you start to make more money, larger games, you start to work with the PlayStation. Uh, you start to begin to work with the Xbox, the what their equivalent of the Nintendo 64 is. And you have to decide, will I have a focus on 3D technology or heavily invest in 2D? Which brings up a huge point of this game, which is the building of game engines. A lot of people seem to think that game engines are just graphics, and they're not. And they are also quite expensive, as if you, know, if you have a game and you build it a very expensive engine for it and it fails, you will lose the game, which I have done twice. The game eventually gets to the point where you have your own R&D section where you get to research new technologies and truly get to become a groundbreaking force in the industry. Now as I had mentioned before, I had failed this game twice, and that is particularly because of what you had just saw, those damn reviews. Self-publishing games that aren't very good before your time, or often during your time, and finding publishers, sorry, working with publishers and failing uh, with publishers ended up being a death knell as for me as it has been for a lot of other developers. The game seems to want to make that point that you seem to be on a very thin line even when it seems like you're very successful things are not exactly as they seem. It becomes very easy to go from King of Kahuna one day with the best reviews in the world to bankrupt the next year. A lot of your success in fact relies a lot on quality and where does your quality come from after the initial stages of the game? Your development team. That's why you need to spend money on recruitment. Off, But if you spend too much money on recruitment, you won't have enough money to pay them, you'll go bankrupt. So again, in this game it very much feels like you're on a very thin line trying to balance it even when you're successful, which is a problem the games industry has had. And certainly in the 90s this was the case. With many talented small and medium sized developers getting tossed by the wayside by bad publishing deals and failed experiments. So I guess here's the big question. Should you buy it? Well this is certainly a game for all ages even though you do make quote unquote mature games that you'll have to sell and do have their place in the market. Uh, the only group I would say would, that would not enjoy this are people who simply really do not like PC games or just don't like strategy games or simulation games in general, or people that think that playing EVE Online is lightweight stuff. You know, the most hardcore business strategy simulation fan, this might not appeal to them, although the unique content may. So if you can, pay the $9.99, have a generally unique experience. Or do like I did, I uh, got this on the Steam sale for something like 25% off. Either way, it'll run on almost any computer, so really there is no excuse for you to not pick this title up.